real quick, put something in your mouth or spill it in your lap or something. Please give me some mileage here. Okay. Thank you. That's wonderful. That's. Um, but you don't have to do that. I'm just trying to say you got to have something embarrassing, you know, on, on film. Good at that. Good at that. Isn't that what people on, tend to? Are we on tape right I, now? I, yes. Say what you will. I just want to play this back when I get home to see if this really happened and if I was here. And so what happened? <laughs> Today I'm getting reacquainted. Uh, you know, before I came to the reunion, I was thinking about some things that uh, didn't exist when we were in high school. I mean, I was thinking of things like personal computers, for example. Uh, we couldn't. In 1974, computers were done. I can't even type now. I wish I did. Uh, you know, I was thinking about things like uh, McDonald's drive-throughs were just in their infancy. Uh, there used to be five channels on TV, and now there's 105, and there's still nothing on. You know, now we have. Uh, you know, we used to talk to people, and now we have faxes and pagers and voicemail and answering. Machines. Big difference. Uh, you know, and, and the. Uh, and I was thinking that in 1974, the 25th uh, anniversary of Woodstock was still 25, 20 years away. Um, you know, I was, when I was talking with some of my classmates yesterday and uh, I noticed that I had a lot clearer memories of things that maybe didn't happen in 1974, but happened a lot earlier than that. Like I, uh, it, it seemed that, you know, I really clicked and connected with people that I went to grade school and junior high with, you know, just, you seem to get right in there. I was, I was talking to Ron May and we were talking about Mrs. Laughlin in the first grade, and, you know, and, and I was talking with Mike Leake and he says, oh yeah, Mrs. Johnson, yeah, she did that piece of chalk on his back, sit up straight, sit up straight. <laughs> <laughs> and there was, and we were, and we were talking, I was talking with Mike, with Mike Leake and we were in Mr., I don't know how many people remember Mr. Trezenka at Huntington Junior High. Yo, yo. You know, and, and, and I tell you, he, I, he's not here, and I didn't ask him if I could do this, but, but uh, he confessed, he did it. He did it on the wall, he wrote it. <laughs> uh, and he was, he, you know, just, there's so many interesting I memories. You know, I, I was, I've been telling people that I've kind of had kind of an out-of-body experience at the reunion, because I, I, can, I can relate to people that I know, that I've known for a long time, you know, many people that I've known since I was a little kid, all the way through the time I graduated from high school, and, uh, but our, our, you know, my adult experience is all with other people. And when we get together and talk, it's like, uh, you know, we, we, all, we can talk about all these adult things, but it doesn't really make sense. I mean, we can, we talk about, uh, you know, business and talk about work and talk about kids and family. And it's kind of like, it really, it's all just kind of sinking in that we all have all those things. And it's, you know, just a, a, a Some people never counting think. here. Uh, we're going to have uh, pictures after this little award ceremony that we're going to have. So, and I understand the pictures are going to be right up here. So that's going to happen. At, that's going to happen after, but it's a group picture. Uh, so you'll, you'll, you'll want to get ready for that, I'm sure. Uh, and we're, we will have music by music and more. And the DJ is going to be taking requests for that for, for afterwards. Um, you know, the very first award that I'd like to give out is for a couple of very special people that you need to uh, acknowledge. And I'd like to ask Deborah Harlan Burns and Pam Salberg Stewart to come up, please. Yo! have put in countless, countless hours to make all this happen. Yes. It, does, it doesn't just happen by itself. And we need to give them a very, very heartfelt thank you. Is this like a pep rally or something? Okay, okay. You know, and I'd, 
I'd like to have everybody who worked on the reunion um, organization just stand up and be acknowledged. I know there's lots of people. Can you just please stand? We'd like to acknowledge those folks. Well, for our, for our first kind of, um, the first of our other group awards is a very special award, and it, uh, it goes to a guy that we all know and love, and you'll know who I mean when I mention his name, and I want to have this place just come apart when we present this. This award is for the most eager reunion organizing participant, and we're talking oh, right? Harvey Morgan. Oh, Harvey Morgan. Salberg in June of 1993 for the 20-year reunion. Well, you know, I, in, in the rest of the awards participation, since we don't know who's going to get them yet, I need to ask your help in, uh, in, in smoking these people out. Uh, we'd like to know who traveled the farthest to come to the reunion tonight. Susan, is Susan here? Uh, Susan Brown Cummings. Cummings. Massachusetts. That's the first. Massachusetts. Yeah. That was great. Oh, man. Yeah, you said hello to her. Good morning. Do you know where you're from and how you got here? Someone who come, we have, we have an award for the person who comes the farthest. I want to know who traveled the shortest distance to come to the reunion. Well, uh, Arlene, she works here. No, no. Who, who, who lives the closest? I came from Pam. I live three blocks. She does. Three blocks. Oh. What's the address? 8070. 8070. Oh. Yeah. Come on up. <laughs> Claim your prize. Well, we're talking families now. Uh, I would like to take a poll here, and we need to find out who in our class has the most children. Wow. Stephanie Baxter, come on up. Now, this is going to take a while. It's going to be names and ages here she's going to tell you. Virginia Greer, come on up. Names and ages again.
Now this, this next category uh, is, uh, you know, it's kind of a hand-wavy category, so I really need your help here. And we talked about, we wanted to ask who has the most unusual occupation among our classmates. And I don't know what, the, you know, there's no limits on what that means, so I just need to throw it out and ask the question and have you help me. Arlene. I'm a painter. I sell tractors. Arlene sells tractors. Okay. Fit Levi's. <laughs> so, so I knew I might be in contention. Um, uh, these, uh, these last categories here are also audience participation. Uh, and what I would like to do is have nominations for uh, our, our female classmate classmates who have changed the least since 1974. Oh, Becky, that's and uh, no, what I'd like to do is let's, so. let's get five, let's really get five women here no. that, uh, oh. that will yeah. Come on yeah. up. Yeah. Pam Salberg. Yeah. 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 Ann 
And Morissette. And Morissette, no doubt. Oh, put Arlene up there. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Arlene, do it. Oh, Ms. John Deere. Ms. Tractor. This, this is the category for just stepped off the page in the yearbook. Debbie Ivanov. That's true. Donna hasn't changed a hell of a lot. Where's Debbie? I think she looks like her mom. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. yeah. And Lori Green. Lori Green. And Debbie Sardwell. Arlene didn't want to come up so it doesn't count for six. Okay, let's do the same thing. Okay, let's let's hear for this is she does too. I, I feel like I just stepped out of second lunch here. <laughs> okay, Arlene Johnson. Yo. She didn't want to go up. Donna Modine. <laughs> Ann Morissette. <laughs> Pam Salberg. Debbie Ivanov. I, I knew this was going to happen. I invited you in here. <laughs> Debbie Sarwell. And Lori Green. Lori Green? Well, we're going to go right into the uh, flip side of that same category, and we're going to have the ladies who have changed the most in our class. Oh, my. So we need okay, Arlene Johnson. <laughs>
Helene Page. Six, Ron Cox. Check the name tag of that guy in the middle. I forget his name. That's my, 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 Mike Corby. And Randy Rothfuss. Wow. And Phil Bray. I think Scott takes it right here. I've had a lot of fun doing this, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the pictures now, and we're going to do it again in another 10 years, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I'm getting flashes to say five years. Thanks very much.
<laughs> Great. Oh, come on. There you are. Okay. Got a whisper. Let me start with you. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, it's good to be first. We'll come back after we've worked it out again, <laughs> got, and you can get another. Terry Rasmussen here, and Terry, if we were to see you for another 20 years, what would you want us to remember about you? That I always had a good time in school. Never skipped school, but one day, and my parents knew it ahead of time, and that's a fact. A fact? Oh my goodness, it's that was a fact. great. I never skipped school. Supposed to be telling the truth. I'm honest. My mother knew. I asked her ahead of time. She even lied for me at school and said she's homesick. And I went with Bonnie Walila. Really? Yeah. We were horseback yourself. riding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I was, I, and I, I always loved school. And I hope my kids do too. Good. There you Remember about me, I would say my laugh. Yeah. My laugh. laugh. Well, that's great. It's loud and obnoxious, just like me. I can, yeah. I can always hear it when I think about you. <laughs> Pick it out of the crowd. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> okay, and how about you? How about me? Probably my Pam. shy right. <laughs> personality. <laughs> Did you say I had to tell a truth? And that's another laugh that you'll remember <laughs> from the class of 74. <laughs> okay, go hit Linda. Okay, yep, go hit Linda. See, we're warming up. <laughs> We're roving reporter. Yeah. It may be fun. What was it? Your this research? is what we're doing here. Yeah, my yes. <laughs> Linda, what we're asking is, if, if we weren't to see you in another 20 years, what would you want people to remember you? Or how would you want them to remember you? Oh, uh, just that shy little girl. <laughs> everybody's so shy and quiet. I mean, is that are what you catching this? So far, that's what everybody's been saying. Yeah. It's like, come on now. We need to start booze at these things <laughs> here. You know. <laughs> We certainly would have said better things last night. Yeah, definitely. But I had the light today, so. <laughs> Sorry, last night just didn't well, have the light. Thank you very much. Linda Woods, did you catch that? Yeah, 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 I sure hope. Great. And now we're moving over here to Vicky Flags. Yeah, trying oh, to hide. yeah, I know. Well, who's this? This is Michael. Hi, Mike. Michael. Michael. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm working is. around. This is Vicki Flagg, and Vicki, what we're doing is going around talking to the class, and if we weren't to see you for another 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? Oh, to remember me? Uh -huh. Well, most everyone remembers that I was very quiet and shy in school, but I think I'm sort of growing up and growing out of that. I'm much more outgoing now and friendly, talk to people. Well, you've always talked to me, though. I know. I was loud. Once again, I was loud. Yes. I am loud. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. So nice to talk to you. You got to humor me. It's my plan. Thank you. Okay, Jim. And I want a copy of you. Oh, we're trying. I, if, I think it'll be fun. So we'll put it all. Oh, I don't care. I follow you. This will be like one of those. Um, what is it? Uh, Informal documentary type of road film or something. Okay, here we have one. Okay, a victim? We have a victim. This is Ann David. Hi. We're doing this for Mark, but this is for posterity. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, hi. For another 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? Without braces. Yes, look, I know. This is terrible. The sense of humor, though, is still here as it was back in 74. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, the only one here with braces. Uh, everybody else has to hide. Everybody else. 
That was great. Hey. Here we have a group over here. Oh, sure. Take no prisoners. We get them all. <laughs> okay, now you got to come over here. We, I'm going to kill three birds with one stone. Oh, this will be three good. Three birds with one stone. Oh, Mark's the cameraman. Well, maybe. Absolutely. Maybe it'll work. He looks like okay. he'd be good at it. We have Phil Corfey, Jenny Davies, Steve Newsom. Yeah. Don't worry, be happy. Oh, jeez. Can you sing it for us, please? I can't sing. How about you, Jenny? Jenny, I've always been a little small. If we want to see you for another 20 years, what would you want to do? You know, Arlie. Oh, well, it doesn't have to be real serious. And finally, somebody didn't say to remember that they've been shy and quiet. Everybody else has been shy and quiet, except for me. I've been loud and obnoxious. Now, Jenny, let's go back to you. Yeah. <laughs> You've had time, ample time to think about it. I don't think I changed at all. So, so, so I want to be the same two years from now. I don't know. Okay. But I, I, I'd like to walk into the twins. How much work I did on this class for you? She's running for star search for spokesperson model. Yeah. Okay. She's absolutely I was never good at that. Spokesman. <laughs> I was never good at that. Don't put me under the spotlight, okay. ever. Well... <laughs> we just did. Thank you. This is Sonia Elhart. And Sonia, we're doing this. We're asking you to look at this. We're purchasing this for another 20 years. How would you want to do it? I like that. Alive. No, I can't look at that. And then Denise. No, she's getting everybody now. This is Denise Merrick. Mark. Oh, you got to get in closer. Mark. We're coming. Just like she is today. Roger Ham. We're doing this for Mark. He's a hello. Yes, he is. Roger, who do you want to see for 20 years? How would you want people to remember you? You weren't going to see me for 20 years or never again. Well, don't say never again, but if we were to see you for another 20 years, how would you want to remember you? Oh, I'm happy now. Finally, after all these years, I came to the program with these 18 and 28. Now I'm finally settled down. That's great. That's great. That's a good one. We like that. No way. I figured the mirror and held my face up my mind and said, I look at this. Oh, excuse me, Rod. All right, here we have, we have we're going to kill two at one time now. Okay, okay. We have Pam Sorry, Rod. Slash Donnie. Okay. We have Pam Donnie. Slash Donnie. We have Pam Donnie. Slash Donnie. We want to see you guys for the next 20 years. I know. Give me some hints. Give me some hints. I know. <laughs> Just if that were to happen. If that were to happen. I want to play this back in another 20. Really? How would you want people to remember? Oh, Which you are. Committed husband and wife with that would do a good, fine family. Not even putting on a Not even on their coat. And not, and not <laughs> laugh at anybody when they look like a nerd. And yeah, oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I had that one. Okay. Yes, you're welcome. Oh, absolutely. Look at this one. Okay, here we have Arlene Johnson. And Arlene, we're doing this, we're asking people, if we weren't to see you for another 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? Today, um, oh, that I always try to make people feel good about themselves, and 
I'm getting the bad rap all the time for being <laughs> when I'm just friendly and outgoing and I'm sorry if I intimidate people like this as real as I can be. That's probably been one of the most honest answers that we've heard here on this on this tape today. I just love people, but I love men more than There women. you go. There <laughs> it's you just, go. It's just the way I am. Speaking of men that she loves, over here we have Don Bradley. <laughs> my, I just want to for Sunday. <laughs> 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 he was! And he's a great guy with his story. He's a great guy. <laughs> We're gonna play this back in 20, Don. Watch it. I want a copy of this. We're trying. Yeah. Okay. You know, did you sure did. Every angle. Okay. <laughs> I am a guy, you know. <laughs> What am I next? Well, I'll tell you here what we're doing. Here we have Steve Dahl. He's looking more like his dad all the time. I can say that because I'm looking more like my dad all the time, too. It's the way it works. very scary. Hi, good to see you. What we're doing is we're asking everybody in the class if we were to see each other for the next 20 years, how would you want to remember you? Another honest answer. Yeah. You heard it right here, folks, on, on the tape. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Are these yours? Yeah, this is my middle son. Gary. Hi, guys. Where are these boys working? <laughs> and here we have Whoa. Tam Salmon. So are you happy? Pam, what we're doing is we're asking if, if we weren't to see you for the next 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? I haven't changed a bit. She, look at this face. I swear to God, she has not, and in 20 years, she will look exactly like this. Everything. Hopefully a little lighter. Thank you for that one. Okay, and now we're coming over here. We're going to catch a meeting. Bob Blackbird, alias Blackstone. Bob, if we were to see you for another 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? I wouldn't. <laughs> Forget me. Oh yeah, I remember that guy. <laughs> oh, With a sandwich in a hand. There, eating. The comedian as always. Thank you. What we need is two from Eddie and all the old cheerleaders to say, how do we make a big pyramid with everybody? Yeah, that's We could have done it. We could have done it. Here we have, we have Paul Clements in here. Hi, and Paul. Here's Roger Schauble. Oh, were you at the thing last night? Were you there? Oh, my gosh, I thought I was seeing everybody. Lost it. Oh, well. Anyway, what we're doing, guys. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Roger and I go back to grade school. Okay, that's how far back I know this guy. So, anyway, what we're doing is we're asking everybody if we were to see you for the 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? Well. Or well, I used to look outgoing. like my name's my dad, now I'm just going to look like my name's Outgoing and uh, <laughs> Okay, I'll buy that. How no about change. you? No change? No, well, I didn't say I wouldn't change. No, I just said, you know, I try to be more myself okay. unless there's somebody else in the world. 15 years now. That's great. How about you, mister? More outgoing and active as ever. More outgoing and active as ever. That is true. <laughs> You're very We're quiet. We're working on that kind of stuff. But you just, I used to talk with you. I mean, you weren't quiet around me at all. There's not too many people who are quiet around me. So, <laughs> maybe, maybe I seem to bring that out of me. I do, you know. I do. You know, it's scary. You, you remind me. The last time I'm baking soda on a piece. One of those. Okay, here we have Don Olson, <laughs> Debbie Ivanov. We're, here, we're asking all the classmates here, if you were to see you for the next 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? <laughs> the pressure's on. Lloyd <laughs> says, thank God I only married you this group. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. Ladies first. Oh, you know, I'm just the girl with the great smile. <laughs> Check it out. She'll have it 20 years from now. That's right. How about you, Mr. Olson? Just a family guy here with my two daughters. <laughs> Lay back and take it in easy. There we go. Okay, and now as we pan the camera. Get over here, Deborah. He's getting all of us. He's oh, yeah. Everyone gets to be equally embarrassed. Two very, two very special Oh, I hope so. I'll zoom in on it. From grade school, junior high, high school, it's scary. All right, it's very scary. So, gal, this is 
This is Brooke Lisa Martin. Olsen. Or Who do you name me? She's the girl here with four names. I go with them. Oh. She's with them over there. And this is Deborah Harlan Burns. And this is my daughter, Crystal. Oh, turn around, Crystal. Oh, now you've done it. A beauty, too. All these good looking women we have here. Anyway, the question is if we weren't to see you in another 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? What's the question? Oh, just as my sincere, happy self. It's true. It's true. How about you? I don't know. A matchmaker. Chris is a matchmaker. An organizer. A woman who gets something done. A woman who gets something done. And also has a great sense of humor. That's why we get along so well. Believe me. Thank you, girls. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Hey, there's Brian right there. Oh, Brian. Yeah, yeah I noticed him sitting there. We got to get him with his mouth full of something if we do well. Okay. Don't get away. Brian Nagelson. I would like to be remembered because I always eat dessert first. <laughs> A man after my own heart. Thank you very much. Do you want to hit me I'm going to try and do a full this turnaround way, okay. here. And here we have Becky. Oh, I'm sorry. No. I will go behind you. Here. Rebecca. Always <laughs> <laughs> Becky to me, so too bad. What we're asking the question is, if we weren't to settle for another 20 years, how would we want people to remember? It's quiet. <laughs> she was always very quiet. She's got a great personality. And it is coming out more. That's good. It is. I'm just smiling. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? She faked me out. <laughs> this is cold. No way. I wouldn't even get it. I don't know. Forget it. You have to get it off? Well, if you didn't. I kind of got roped into it. Being shy. Being shy and retiring. Being shy and retiring. So, Oh, you think so? Yes, I was watching. Okay, here we have we have Jeannie Olse and Melissa Cooper. That's right. The Bob and C. The bo <laughs> Bob and C. Here they are. Anyway, what we're doing is we're asking all our classmates, if we weren't to see you for another 20 years, how would you want people to remember you? That's a very good question. Thanks, Mark thought of it. I'd like to be not so serious. I don't know if How about you, future Ben Mom? I hope I'm still alive. Oh, well, we do too. We hope remember her as being alive and she'll still be with Breathing. us. Breathing. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> 20 years later. You, you don't ever want to say that stuff on film, you know. 20 years from now, I intend to play this back. That's right. And I want us all to be alive, so don't say something like that. God knows what might happen. Cut, you know. edit. <laughs> Cut, edit. Back we'll the bus up. We'll remember. <laughs> Great personality, wonderful musician. You still play the flute? I don't. don't. I miss it terribly. Okay. She's a, she's a full-time mom. Hard working. I read your thing. I was impressed. Did you read mine? Yes. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks. Okay. You already got two. me. You already got me. No, we got Pam. We got Pam. All oh, the shine reserved when that's right. Okay, well, here we have Marty Scafita. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask any questions. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Yes, yes this is a very easy one. And we've got <laughs> Craig the Power. Craig the Power. The Power. <laughs> Best known as Craig Craig the Gatorin Machine. <laughs> so five second Gator Machine. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody stood okay. back and go, oh, God, what's he doing? At that moment. He was ready for that. Anyway, here's the question, gang. If we weren't to see you for another 20 years, how would you want people to remember? Craig, Craig, the Gatoring Machine. <laughs> <laughs> that was Craig, the Gatoring Machine. Marty. I told you not to ask me any questions. Oh. So hard. Just, just no. be yourself. Content and happy. <laughs> that is perfect. That is perfect. That, that is perfect. And she, you can see she's the picture of peace and contentment right here. Tranquility. Tranquility. Oh, nice. Give the peace sign. Thanks a lot.
Okay, now who do we have left? We can peruse that way. Okay, well. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> sports fanatic. God, he's always been a sports fanatic, and he's still and, um, with balling. Oh my god. 20 gosh. more years, he's going to be on the pro golf trip, my little man. And here, Great. Is, here is the clone. Look at his face. Is he a clone? Yes, Dad, he is. Oh my god. Unbelievable. <laughs> So, so in 20 years, we'll play it back, and then he'll be about... Maybe I'll be on the senior golf tour. There you How's go. That? There we go. We're, we'll, we'll be looking for that. Looking for that. Thank you, sir. I sure had a great time this weekend. It's been great. It has been great. How are you doing today? Back away so yeah. that yeah. I'm in all these shots. Back off. Back up. Right. Here Here we have Donna Redmond. Huh? Singer extraordinaire. Used to. <laughs> Avid rock collector. Avid. What we're doing is we're asking um, everybody from the class, if we weren't to see you for another 20 years, how would you like to be remembered? With a smile on my face. <laughs> and red hair. And red hair. Before it turns gray. <laughs> I got three gray hairs. Oh jeez, I think I have a few more than that. Can you check that out there? Do you think so? Yeah. Thought so too. Okay, are we done now? It's so good. Here, okay, here we have. Vicky, you don't Dick. have to go anywhere. You're doing great. Ed, 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 you need to come over here. We need to get you in here too. We we talked to Vicky, but it's always good to see her again. Here's Ed Loringer. We're doing this. We're asking the question: If we were to see you for another 20 years, how would you like people to remember you? And you haven't changed a bit. Okay. How about you, Mr. Yay, I'd like people to remember me as someone who was not on the picnic committee. <laughs> we will remember that. You didn't have the weather? We will remember that. I hope I'm a big lotto winner before. <laughs> there you go. There we go. You know, Ed McMahon sent you a letter, didn't he? <laughs> you may already be a winner. You may already be a winner. I thought you were going to get away, but not, not too fast here. Here we have Lori Green. <laughs> She's going home now. <laughs> another grade school light with me. Lori, what we're doing is we're asking everybody from the class, if we weren't to see you for another 20 years, how would you like to be remembered? How would you like to be remembered? This is Vicky Dove. Tell you what, can you spin her all the way around and then the outside light will... Okay, there, great, great, thanks. Great. Here we go. Here we go. This is Vicky Dev. And Vicky will be here as all our classmates. If we were to see you for another 20 years, how would you like to be here? How would you like to be here? Which she has always been. Which she has always been. I can attest to that. She has always been just a wonderful person. Wonderful. It's so good to see you. I always always <laughs> This is Rose World, and uh, we go way back to way back. Anyway, we're doing work with rest of the class members. If we were to see them for 20 years, how would you like to be remembered? Something, something profound. Something from my heart. Thank you.